Welcome sa sipnine.com. This video po continue natin ang ating series on area no and uh, kung sinusundan niyo ating series ang pinag-uusapan natin ngayon ay ang uh, area of parallelograms no. So in this video ang gagawin natin is uh, magso-solve tayo ng mga very basic problems involving area of parallelograms no. Okay, so let's start. From the previous video, alam na natin yung formula na napag-aralan natin that the area of a parallelogram is equal to the product of its base and its height, no? base time height. No? And uh, of course, dito sa mga problems natin, gagamitin natin itong formula na ito. No? So the base of a parallelogram is 8 centimeters and its height is 15 centimeters. What is its area? This is very easy. No? Easy to substitute lang natin. So we're looking for the area. Ano ang base natin? 8 centimeters times, what is the height? 15 centimeters. So, base times height, syempre multiply lang natin yan. So, area equals 8 times 15 is, I think, 120. Tama ba? So, 4 times 30 is 120. Tama. 120 square centimeters. No? So, very uh, careful dapat kayo sa units. No? Pag area, may square na siya. Uh, centi uh, square centimeters, square meters, square kilometers. So, depende kung anong unit, but palagi siyang may square pag area. No? Siyempre, pag uh, linear, measure kagaya ng length, width, base, height, wala siyang square. No? It's a linear measure. Okay, so number two, we have the area of a parallelogram is 18 square meters and its height is 4.5 meters. What is its base? So, isang formula lang gagamitin natin. We don't have to memorize a lot of formulas, no? Sa substitute lang natin, area equals space times height. Ang given naman dito is area, no? So, area at saka height. Wala tayo base. Area is 18 square meters equals, what is the base? Wala. What is our height is 4.5 meters, no? So, base yung hinahanap natin, dapat base na lang yung maiwan sa isang side ng equation, di ba? So, kung napag-aralan nyo na yung pag -ano ng equation, pag-solve. So, here, para mawala yung 4.5, we have to divide because this is multiplication. We have to divide uh, this side by 4.5 meters. Dapat i-divide na natin ito ng 4.5 meters. No? So, pag equation ko, ano ginawa mo sa kaliwa, gano'n yung gagawin mo sa kanan, no? Okay, so, makakancel ito, magiging 1 yan. So, matitira sa kanan is uh, base, no? Yung B natin. And then here, 18 divided by 4.5. Ilan yan? Sa 18, dalawang 9. Sa 9, dalawang 4.5. So, 4 siya. 4, tapos meter square divided by meter. M square divided by M is M. So, ang base natin ay 4. Pwede natin balik ta rin. Base equals 4 meters. No? Okay, so last problem. We have the area of a parallelogram is 15 square centimeters. And its base is uh, 2.5 centimeters. What is its height? So dito, base ang anong. Dito naman height naman yung anong. Still, we use this formula. Area equals base times height. Anong area natin? 15 square centimeters equals base 2.5 cm times height wala tayong h so ano yung h dapat h na lang maiwan dito so we divide everything by 2.5 cm divide also by 2.5 cm so ano nangyari ang matitira sa kanan natin ay h kasi makakancel na to so h equals 15 divided by 2.5. Ilan? Pag may lima ka, divide mo sa 2.5, dalawa. Ilang lima sa 15? Tatlo, di ba? 2 times 3 is 6. So, 6 centimeter square divided by centimeter is centimeter. So, our height is 6 centimeters. No? Okay, so, uh, kung makikita ninyo, madali lang. No? You just have to memorize one formula. Mag-manipulate na lang kayo pag na-substitute na ninyo. Okay, so I hope na kayo natutunan sa video na ito. Gusto kayo invite sa sipnine.com, yung ating website. And gusto ko rin kayong invite na mag-subscribe sa ating channel, sa YouTube channel natin. 
if you're watching this on YouTube, by hanap hanapin yung lang yung ano yung uh, subscribe button and then you click the subscribe button para every time na may bago tayong video, may inform kayo sa inyong email. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.